English class with a word of the day. For that, today I'll give you a word that is just. Just. All of you say once again. Already I told you we are going to learn the pronunciation and word of the day together. Okay? So, how do you pronounce this? Just. Just, okay? Which means the real point of an action. Okay? That means theme. Okay? Main point. Got it? Just means theme. Okay? For example, can you say the gist of this poem? That means main idea. Okay? The real point of an action. Got it? Okay. Let's move on to a lesson. Today, we are going to learn few things. Okay. One is spellings. We are going to learn some spellings. Then, listening. For listening, we have one exercise. Then, for speaking. Okay. We have an exercise. Then, writing. Okay. First, let's start from spelling. Okay. Here, the long E sound can be written as double E or E A. Okay. The long E, that means E sound. Okay. E sound, we can write like E E. Okay. Double E with the letter or else we can write E A. Okay. So, we are going to learn some words. Long E sound words. Okay. How we can write? Whether we have to write double E. Okay. E E or E A. Let's start. When we read some words that sounds like same but the spelling is different. Okay. Here we are learning long E sound. Okay. In some words that long E sound can be written as double E. Okay. In some words that long E sound can be written as E A. Okay. Let's see some examples. First one. R E E D. How do we pronounce this? Read. Right? Read. What is the meaning of this word? R-E-E-D. Read. Which means a tall slender leaved plant of the grass family which grows in water or on marshy ground. Okay? Marshy ground. That plant is called as Read. Okay. Look at this picture. This is called read. Okay. Then next word. R E A D. Read. What is the difference between these two words? First one is R E E D. This one R E A D. Both are sounds like same. Am I right? Read. But first one is different. Then another one is different. R E A D. Which means reading. Okay. Study or read. Okay. Both are sounds like same. But the long E is different. Okay. In first one. We have added the long E like double E or E E. Okay. In second one, we have added that long E like E A. Okay. Read or E A D. Have you got it? Okay. Let's see some more examples. Okay. Look at these words. S E A. Then another one. S E E. Okay. First one. 
the long e comes like e a then second one double e s e e but the meaning also different okay the spelling and the meaning also different s e a means beach okay c then s e e means looking c okay by our i we can see okay but both are sounds like same got it now but the spelling is different then sheet sheet both are sounds like same s h e e t then next one s h e a t okay sheet means s h e e t this sheet means a piece of paper okay paper or bed sheet okay piece of cloth this is called sheet s h e e t okay the spelling is s h e e t okay the next one s h e a t that means a kind of fish okay a kind of fish is called as sheet s h e a t got it then next meat both are meat first one is m e a t the next one m e e t both are sounds like same am i right m e a t that means flesh flesh of an animal or bird okay that is called meat okay then m e e t that also meat but that is differ okay this meat means meeting okay meeting when we meet someone that is called meet okay meet both are different but sounds like same okay then let's move on to next one leak okay how do you pronounce this two words leak am i right l e a k then l e e k both are leak but the spelling is different and also the meaning is different okay first one l e a k this leak means accidentally lose or admit contents especially liquid or gas through a hole or crack okay that is called leak okay leakage leakage in bottle leakage in can okay this is leak l e a k okay the next one l e e k which means a plant related to onion okay this is a plant related to onion okay in onion down we have some parts okay that is called leak okay then beach b e a c h beach another one b e e c h beach okay both are sounds like same but the spelling and meaning is different okay first one beach b e a c h that means sea okay sea beach do you know beach yes that is beach okay look at this picture this is beach b e a c h okay the next one b e e c h which means a large tree with smooth gray bark grossy leaves and hard pale 
okay this is a large tree okay keep in mind this is a large tree beech beech means a large tree okay first one c second one a large tree got it now then feet feet both are feet f e a t also feet f e e t also feet okay what is the meaning f e a t feet an achievement that requires great courage skill or strength that is called feat f e a t okay an achievement that requires a great courage skill or strength that is called as feat okay courageousness then skill strength that is called feat okay if we want to achieve we need great courage skill or strength that is feat okay then next one f e e t which means a leg okay feet got it look at this picture can you understand okay feet feet both are sounds like same but spelling is different okay now look at these words feel f e a l then another one f e e l okay what is the meaning of this word f e a l that means faithful and loyal okay loyalty faithfulness that is called feel feel f e a l then next one feel f e e l that means sense or experience okay sense feeling i am feeling sad okay that is feel f e e l got it okay these are the words in sometimes the long e sound can be spelled with i e okay i e for example achieve here we have added i e okay then sometimes the long e sounds like e i okay spell like e i r e c e i v e got it okay hope you understand this now take your book page number 27 there we have an exercise okay for this spellings you have to find out the correct spelling okay read the sentences and find out the apt spelling there okay can you do that let's move on to our next part that is listening okay for that i'll play an audio you have to listen carefully and take your book page number 27 okay there is an exercise for listening okay if you listen the audio carefully you can fill that blanks okay there is a fill in the blanks if you listen the audio carefully you can fill that okay shall we start let's listen chapter name treasure map listen to the sentences and write the missing words 1 ram was young when his ice skates were lost 2 the children were excited to see the movie in the classroom 3 the cold drinks were kept neatly in the fridge 4 she shouted so loudly that the baby woke up 5 the students found the exam easy 6 the carpenter cuts the wood in the forest hope you have listened that audio carefully now take your book page number 27 do that exercise okay you have to fill that blanks got it 
I will share the answers in our next class. Okay. Now let's move on to next one. Page number 28. Talk. Okay. Here look at the pictures in the comic strip. Make a story based on these pictures. Here they have given some pictures. Okay. You have to make a story based on these pictures. Okay. You have to narrate a story. Got it now? Let's do this talk activity in our Zoom interactive session. Okay. Look at these pictures and make a story. You have to narrate it in our Zoom interactive session. Got it? Now, page number 29. Here, write. Okay. Write part. They have given one picture. Have you seen that? Name any six things that you see in the picture. You have to name six things from this picture. Okay, like bird, kite, tree, dog. Like that you can name. Okay, name any six things that you see in this picture. Okay, then write a description of the picture in your notebook. You are going to write something about that picture. Okay. One picture is there. You have to write something about this picture. What the picture is about. Like that. What are the things are there. Like that you can write something about this picture in your notebook. Okay. Then also give the picture a suitable title. You have to give a suitable title for this picture. Okay. Got it now. You have to give the name for this picture. Okay. Can you do that? So today we have learnt spellings, then listening, activity, then talk. We are going to do in our Zoom interactive session, then writing. Okay, writing, you are going to write about this picture in your notebook. And you are going to give a title for this picture. Am I right? Can you do that? Okay. Now, I'll play an image for previous class homework. Okay, you can verify your answers.